what's up guys this is the newer camera rig it's a video stabilizer for your DSLR or mirrorless cameras one of the reasons why I bought it is because I just wanted to have a quick and easy way to shoot videos which is very stable what I'm going to do today is give you a quick comparison side by side to show you the camera mounted on top of this to see how smooth the footage is as well as me holding it handheld if I don't want to spend time putting it onto my gimbal then this is a quick and easy solution for me as well although gimbals are a lot more expensive you're going to get the best stabilized footage with those this is just a camera rig for someone to maybe have steady smooth footage by standing in the same position or just doing smooth pans or anything like that i wouldn't recommend this for doing a lot of walking or running or anything like that but let's go ahead and take a look at this in more details right you can see there's plenty of tightening adjustments you can make at various different pivotal points now this has a release plate which is great you can also have your own release plate of the same width there's a plenty of man photo ones out there if i just unscrew this you'll see that this comes apart from that this has a button here to release it so all you have to do is press that lift it up and you have a sliding quarter inch screw there as well to mount it and you can reposition that accordingly there's also a 3 8 screw as well in case you wanted to put that onto something larger so you just mount your camera on that you can see there's the switch for the release so i press that i put it into place clips in and then you tighten it once your camera is on there there's no real weight limit you can put loads of things on top of your camera a monitor a microphone a light whatever it may be it should hold it very steady and it's quite sturdy it also has a very nice grip there as well you can see it's a rubberized grip so it won't slip and it's quite comfortable to hold and there you have the level bubble as well to see if you're parallel to the floor the shoulder pad you can actually reposition this to wherever you like i will normally keep it to the end so you have enough space to see the camera and the video that's being recorded if you wanted to replace your own shoulder pad you can do that you just need to make sure the holes in the shoulder pad are of the same width here then you have these caps at the end of the rods just to prevent any dust or rusting going into them all right guys let's step outside i'm going to take two videos one with my sony a7 III mounted on top of this another one with my sony a7 III in just my hand and you guys can see the comparison to see the difference and if it's worth buying it so let's take a look right so even just holding the camera still you can see it's much more steady with the camera rig so i'm just walking left now this is where you can see the biggest difference it's very impressive how stable this camera rig actually is you can see it's very shaky when I'm walking and I'm trying to keep it as stable as possible with the camera in my hand. Now what I'm going to do is move forward towards the car, take a look inside. Now that's very shaky on the left. As you can see, the stabilizer has made a massive difference in that. Even when walking backwards and I can't see where I'm going, it feels like the camera is maybe on a gimbal as well, which is so impressive. So the last test I'm going to do is just pan left and right. So now I'm just going to turn left both are relatively quite stabilized of course i'm not moving and there's no steps so it's done a good job on both of them but i can see the slight difference with the stabilizer overall i'm very happy with it so although that comparison was quite brief hopefully it showed you guys the difference that this can make i'm so happy with this if there's anything else you guys want to know about it do drop a comment down below otherwise check out the link it's 65 pounds on amazon and it's a very good deal for anyone that takes videos Hopefully that was useful. If you did like this video, I do a whole bunch of camera accessory videos, which I know you're going to like. So make sure you subscribe so you won't miss those ones. Make sure you like this video and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.